push that 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 little iggly bits in your brain like oh, it's just my brain no Hey man, I noticed you noticing me. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, that feeling's mutual. It's called love. It's called respect. It's called. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Anyway, it's Vinny here for VJ Fitness, bringing you a brand new YouTube channel. This week, bringing out something a little bit different, bringing out probably carrying this on throughout a couple of the weeks you know we'll see how it goes and um, I find it's really 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 helpful to vent um, vent your anger or release your anger in a healthy manner um, yeah I know this may sound patronizing and a bit weird but I do that's one of my beliefs it's good to exercise it's good to have a little bit of a bitch it's good to have a moan you know hey girl <laughs> It's good, it's good, it's creative, it's constructive, it's something we all need to do, especially in the society we live in now, and especially with the internet use. It's an incredibly good way to just sort of vent yourself. I think it's healthy, you know, you've got to get all that energy, you've got to get it out, you've got to get that energy out, you've got to push that, that, that little iggly bits in your brain, like, oh, it's just my brain, no! Yeah, those iggly bits, you need to get them out, get them out. Voice them. Give them wings. Let them fly. I don't know what the hell that is. Welcome to VJ Fitness, as I said. Vinny, and welcome to look at my notes here. You know what really dents my kettlebells? When I mean dents, you know what really gets my kettlebells nice and tight? You know, down there? Makes them nice and tight. Makes them just shrivel up inside my body. Dropping weights in gyms okay a lot of new gyms coming out everywhere you know america england it's all the same everyone trying to get on this whole fitness wagon new gyms opening up everywhere i mean they're coming out like there's one here there's one there one come to us come to us we got a special offer come to us yeah we're so good all this shit is everywhere but a lot of them now you coming out you go in a nice barbell on the floor get your hands either side of that put your weights on you do your deadlift you come right up really tense those back muscles and then drop the weight because I don't want to be damaging myself putting it to the floor I don't want to try to get past my nubbly knees I've got big fucking knees by the way try and get past that no I'm gonna drop the weight to the floor of the day a guy comes up to me hey mate yeah, so Can't be dropping no weights in here. What? Can't be dropping any weights. What do you mean I can't be dropping any weights? You can't drop weights in this gym. Gyms are meant. Weights are made to be dropped. They're made of solid iron. Metal. Yeah, you can't drop them. You might damage something. What the? What the hell am I going to damage? These weights are made. They're durable. You cannot break it. You cannot break them. Nah, mate, can't drop them. Matt damaged the floor. Well, whose stupid idea was it to include in the weightlifting area, with next to the squat rack and everything, wooden floors. Wooden, I just wanna, <clears throat> I don't think I'm quite getting my point across here. Wooden floors in a squat racking area. What idiot's idea is that? Of course, just, I don't wanna be doing my deadlifts and every time I come down or, what are the, you know, any compound exercises bringing the weight down and scared I'm going to dent the floor? Why make it out of wood? Why? Why? Where's the sense in that? There is no sense. There really isn't. So anyway, I explained this in a very polite manner because, you know, I don't like to offend people, which is why I'm venting it out on here. I, you know, I went up to him and I was like, well, mate, why you got wooden floors? Well, it came with wooden floors. What do you mean it came with wooden floors? When we, like, bought the place, like, we had to resurface it and there was already wood so we used the wood bloody stupid person are you best one though went into another gym 
place was quite an old one. Quite a nice place actually. Went there for a couple of months. Really nice people. You know, good good atmosphere. Good thing. Um, one day, doing a, I think it was again uh, my deadlifts. Just dropping the weight to the floor. Don't don't want to cut that. Didn't want a hyper extend or um, time under tension. I wanted to cut it cut it short. Drop the weight to the floor. Guy comes up to me again. Mate, can't do that. What do you mean I can't do that? You can't drop the weight, you've got to be careful. Oh, well, why? You know, it's not wooden flooring, it's rubber. These are rubber weights plated in rubber for extra protection. They bounce off the floor. It's okay, nothing's going to get destroyed. Nah, can't do that, mate. What you see is, uh, I was in the basement the other day, and underneath the concrete floor, where all the support, and I cannot believe he said this, Cannot believe the gym was still operational for three months. Three months after this, before it was repaired. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Um, went down into the basement back, and uh, the support beams under the concrete were like rusted away. They were like orange, like proper orange, rusted away. Well, that can't be good. How the, I'm standing here with about 200 kilograms on a bloody barbell. Fuck, I'm gonna fall through the fucking floor. Well, that's why I don't want you to drop the weight. You might go through the floor. What sort of gym is this? So, yes, stupid people, stupid, stupid people. Weights are made to be dropped, okay? If you own a gym, if you're uh, working in a gym and you often say this to people, you are the people I love. That's not the right word. You, honest to God, weights are durable. Very, very, very few times have I actually seen a weight break. And that's because it's 20 years old and halfway rusted through or something like that. They are made to be dropped. They are durable. They are freaking metal, most of them. Nowadays, they're even coming out covered in rubber for extra protection. What is there that you don't understand? You can drop the weights. Anyway, so that's my rant. It's my little thing. Just thought I'd put that out there. Might turn this into a weekly thing. Let me know what you think. What really, what really dents your kettlebells? What makes your kettlebells nice and tight? Just let me know. You know, comment, subscribe, like, message, view. Do whatever the hell you want. This is my rant. My rant. That, that ladies and gentlemen, is what really dents my kettlebells. But at the end of the day, Respect the gym rules, respect one another. Peace guys.